In 2014, Reebok struck a deal with the UFC to become the official outfitter and sponsor of all UFC athletes. That meant most fighters had to say goodbye to those $100,000 plus sponsorship deals and accept Reebok's sponsorship instead, sometimes amounting to as little as $2,500 per fight. This is a list of some of Reebok's worst missteps, oversights, and blunders, from insulting individual fighters to offending entire nations. These are some of the biggest Reebok screw-ups. Spell check. What is it and how does it work? Well, don't ask Reebok. They haven't got a clue. When the UFC initially launched the new Reebok jerseys, aka fight kits, they did so with an avalanche of negativity, largely due to their constant spelling mistakes and errors. Among some of the more egregious errors was the infamous Gilbert Melendez shirt. What seems like a simple name and easy to spell for most people proved to be an impossible task for the Reebok design team. But Reebok didn't stop there. They went on to mess up several fighters' names and nicknames as well. Are you a fan of Anderson Silva and Jose Aldo? Why buy both of their jerseys? Just buy the sleek new Anderson Aldo fight kit, available now. A fan of Jermaine Durandamy? Just head over to the men's section and pick up one of her fight kits. Or maybe a Marcio Liotta Machida shirt. Even their big launch show featured major typos, as Conor McGregor showed off his flexibility to the crowd. G and freedom, oops. <laughs> When asked about the deal with the UFC, Reebok's brand president Matt Tool, I mean Matt O'Toole, stated, we're pioneering something that, to a lot of people, was not seen as a possibility, to take the sport of MMA and the UFC and really professionalize it. And professionalize it, they did. But Reebok has done more than insult individual fighters with their constant typing errors and have now graduated to insulting entire countries. When Conor McGregor was reaching unprecedented heights with his popularity, Reebok attempted to cash in on his Irish heritage and released this t-shirt for sale. Most people wouldn't recognize anything wrong with this picture, but fans of his Irish heritage were outraged. The shirt featured a picture of the Republic of Ireland, leaving out the six counties making up Northern Ireland. While most fans wouldn't have spotted the error, the controversy caused Reebok to pull the shirt from their product line completely, stating, We sincerely apologize for the offense caused by the UFC Ireland t-shirt. This was a design error and has now been removed. Conor McGregor's coach John Cavanaugh threatened to boycott Reebok over the incident and stated, I'm happy to see it removed from the site, and hopefully future designs will be more thoughtful. Oh, how wrong he was. After insulting the Irish, Reebok quickly moved on to the Polish, forcing them to wear a black eagle as their country symbol. The correct color was supposed to be white, as the black eagle was the symbol of their Soviet invaders and a sign of oppression. After receiving yet more backlash, Reebok corrected the symbol and Polish fighters now sport a white eagle instead. When the UFC signed the Reebok deal, all companies that were currently sponsoring UFC fighters were banned from all events. Tons of fighters lost out on huge sponsorship checks and had no choice but to wear the new Reebok uniforms for a small flat fee. The main reason given for the new Reebok dress code was to make the UFC look more professional, as Dana White stated that fighters were beginning to resemble NASCAR with all the advertisements printed on their shorts. So they took away all the ads off the fighters and put them all over the cage and the floor, the ring posts, and constant commercial interruptions, none of which the fighters received a cut of. Our tale of the tape brought to you by Geico. Our rules of the octagon are sponsored by Outsiders. Closed captioning is sponsored by Triple X. Fight replay brought to you by Bud Light. Tonight's arrivals are brought to you by Harley Davidson. This bout is sponsored by Budweiser. This buzz for you, Metro PCS. And Geico! 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. There are also strict punishments and restrictions for fighters who refuse or accidentally forget to wear their new Reebok apparel. When Matt Mitrione accidentally wore Air Jordans instead of Reebok, he was forced to go barefoot during the UFC media day. Honestly, where are your shoes? Uh, they're outside. I, I had some J's on my feet, and uh, that was not part of the attire, really? so uh, I came in barefoot. Fabrizio Verdum posted a picture of his Reebok jersey with a Nike logo photoshopped on it. Verdum was immediately fired from his broadcast job with the UFC, where he worked for several years. Fighters being spotted in Nike gear can be cause for termination, although UFC president Dana White doesn't mind being seen decked out from head to toe in sweet Nike apparel. Aljamain Sterling's brother was supposed to film him during the weigh-ins of UFC on Fox. 
Unfortunately, his brother wasn't wearing approved Reebok apparel and was thus barred from accompanying his brother. And a few honorable mentions. If you're a fan of McGregor, Gustafson, or Velasquez, you can now purchase a shirt with their faces completely obscured. Miles' jury was tired of getting paid in Reebok shoes, so he put them in the only place that made sense. Reebok's women's fight gear has recently become an issue as their bras keep coming loose during fights. A nice combination there from the Rose. Looked like she had enough, but wardrobe malfunction there. And getting it under that. Oh, now it goes upstairs and Valerie's hurt. Yeah, yeah. Here we Looked go. Like maybe uh, fight. A, an equipment malfunction oh, okay. of some kind. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe.